In today's video, McCarthy's out, Biden's mean girls tweet, the FBI targets Trump supporters, and the Court of Appeals agrees that the government most likely violated free speech. I'm Wes Austin, and these are your headlines. Why take aim with the radical left when you can just play Russian roulette with your own party? Kevin McCarthy was ousted from being House Speaker after eight Republicans, led by Matt Gates, teamed up with all House Democrats to remove McCarthy. Democrats and Matt Gates united against McCarthy? The last time Republicans shot themselves in the foot this bad, Dick Cheney was on a hunting trip. The left must be thinking, why even bother with the strategy when Republicans have got self-sabotage down to an art form? This is the first time in U.S. history that the House has ever removed a speaker. The last time that a speakership was even challenged was more than 110 years ago. McCarthy getting the boot with the help of Republicans? That's like Batman teaming up with the Joker to take down Robin. Currently, at the time of taping this, people being considered as the new House Speaker are Steve Scalise, Jim Jordan, and Donald Trump. I don't know how likely it is for Donald Trump to become the next House Speaker, but if he does, C-SPAN's ratings are going to go through the roof. You know someone's cool when they tell you they're cool. On Mean Girls Day, which was October 3rd, look, I had no idea there was even a Mean Girls Day, just so you know. Anyway, on Mean Girls Day, the Democratic Party tried to make President Biden look cool by making a Mean Girls post. The party posted a photo of Biden wearing his sunglasses, and it said, President Joe Biden isn't a regular president, he's a cool president. This famous quote is spoken by Amy Poehler's character, Regina George's mom, when she says, I'm not like a regular mom, I'm a cool mom. So not like a regular mom, I'm a cool mom. I'm not sure if they've seen the movie, but she's not a cool mom. She is quite cringy. On second thought, that does fit nicely. Now, if Biden is Mrs. George, then Hunter Biden is Regina George, only with less shopping and more cocaine. The first draft of the tweet didn't test well, so they scrapped it, but insiders in the White House say that it was actually the same photo, but they had tried to play off the phrase, on Wednesdays we wear pink, they changed that phrase in the earlier draft to, on Wednesdays, we wear our tennis shoes to keep us from falling down. Vote for Biden, or you're going to be on the FBI's most wanted list. According to Newsweek, Trump supporters are reportedly being targeted by the FBI. The FBI views Trump and his supporters as a threat to Biden winning in 20... Oh, sorry, as a threat to our democracy. Excuse me. According to an anonymous FBI agent, the FBI is targeting Trump supporters to stop domestic terrorism, the same reason they went after those dangerous parents who cared about what was going on at their kids' schools. You know, the FBI used to hunt down the likes of Al Capone and Bonnie and Clyde, but now they're chasing down Aunt Linda for sharing a Trump meme. Don't worry, you should be safe from the FBI as long as you've never worn a MAGA hat, you don't stand for the national anthem, and you don't listen to country music. <laughs> But to be extra safe, you probably should stick a Biden 2024 sign on your front lawn. What government agency didn't violate free speech? The Court of Appeals for the Fifth Circuit ruled that several government agencies likely violated free speech by working with big tech companies to censor election content. The list of agencies violating the First Amendment reads like a who's who of the government. But now this isn't Biden's fault. <laughs> he doesn't know where he is. Which agencies were they? The White House, the Surgeon General, the CDC, the FBI, and the Department of Homeland Security. The court ordered an injunction against all of them limiting their communication with big tech companies. Hey, just relax and calm down. This is not a big deal. Since when has the First Amendment been important? Hmm? I'm Wes Austin. Thanks for watching Headlines. We'll see you next time.